you've never heard it before. of me yet because I'll do that in about a, oh, 25 minutes from right now but meanwhile we got to go check in with uh, uh, you know one of the people we normally check in with all right it's time for us to go out and make a call that we like to make every now and then uh, we call out to Stephen Pearl let's see here I'm got to uh, what am I just tried to call him here we go wait a minute there we go Oh, it should ring in a second. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Hey, kids, if you don't smoke pot, don't start. It really won't lead anywhere. But if you do smoke pot, look for something called Urkel Bud. It kicks ass, man. Hello, everybody. North, North America and all the ships at sea. What were you doing? Your best Jack Webb don't do dope uh, routine? Oh, if I want to do Jack Webb, I'd say maybe you like taking LSD, that magic sugar cube, freaking out, blowing your mind and taking the trip. Well, there's another kind of magic cube that'll take you on a trip, son. The library's full of them. They're called books. <laughs> See, if I was going to do Jack if I was going to do Jack Webb, I'd say maybe you think marijuana is harmless. Maybe you think it won't hurt you at all. Maybe you can call it anything you want. Weed, reefer, grass, tea, muzzles. But let me tell you something. Every time we find a body in a back alley, OD on smack, we find three sticks of Mary Jane in the pocket. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, long-haired hippie. See, I, do, I would do that. You would do that, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, he was, uh, in many ways, the worst actor in the world. Oh, he was so bad, he was wonderful. Yeah, well, actually, when he first started out, everybody thought of his acting as being great because it was this understated uh, acting, <laughs> you know? Um, well, he, in Sunset Boulevard, his short part, he actually showed emotion. Hey, come to the party. In fact, he was given a party, a New Year's party. He was a wild cat. Yeah. And then something between that and the late 50s when he became a cop, his spirit died. Well, you know where he started uh, was in San Francisco. Uh, oh, oh, really? I didn't he, know that. Yes, he started in San Francisco, and he was did a show at, um, I think it was uh, NBC in San Francisco. Uh -huh. I know he did it out of the uh, big NBC building there. Uh -huh. And it was called Pat Novak for Hire. Pat and, Novak for Hire. And it, it first Very did, monotone. Yeah, did that monotone, understated acting on, sure. on radio. Uh -huh. And then he used that as the template for Dragnet. And I don't know uh -huh. whether he first did Dragnet in San Francisco or whether he then moved to L.A. and sold the idea of Dragnet to them based on his success with Pat Novak for Hire. So. Uh -huh. I get it. Well, Dragnet was originally based in San Francisco, but, uh, you know, during the story, none of the cops could find a parking space, so they moved it to L.A. Yeah. <laughs> we went to the station on Market Street, but there was no parking, so we went to the station on O'Farrell Street. There was still no parking, so we parked anyway and gave ourselves a ticket. Bam, 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 bam. You know, in those days, you could park in San Francisco, to tell you the truth. Uh, That's true. Yeah, although I wouldn't know. Cause in those days, you could pay your rent in San Francisco. <laughs> I, di I didn't drive in those days because I was still a kid. Uh, uh -huh. And I didn't drive till later on when we moved to Marin County. But um, uh, I, I did my father have a car in San Francisco? That's what I'm trying to remember. I think he did. Yeah, we had a Hudson. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and... Um, uh, we always found a parking place right outside our apartment on Telegraph Hill. You know. Oh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> I think the only time there was parking in San Francisco was before they invented cars. <laughs> Actually, San Francisco was pretty easy to park in back in those days. It really was. Uh -huh. uh, uh, and, and, you know, a lot of the transportation, my, my major form of transportation, when we would decide we were going to go what we called downtown, which was Market Street, uh -huh. From our place in Telegraph Hill, we walked down to the uh, to the cable car, and then we uh -huh. just hopped on the cable car and uh, took it all the way down to the bottom, uh, down to Market mm -hmm. Street, and then we spent the whole. My mother would spend the whole day shopping on Market Street. Uh -huh. You know, there you go. Um, and I would go with her as a kid, and we would always take the uh, the cable car. Oh, that's fun. 
Yeah, when when I first moved here in '79, I didn't have a car, so I public transportation pretty much took me everywhere I wanted to go. And the bus, I think, was a quarter until 1980, yeah. and then it was 50 cents. It's like like 48 bucks now. But. Well, you know, the cable car uh, used to be a functional uh, piece of machinery that uh-huh. got you from one place to another. It was a very good form of transportation. But what happened as the years went on, it became so iconic to San Francisco. That the only sure. people that wanted to, would get on the uh, the uh, cable car were tourists. Exactly. And, yeah. But the trick was the tourists would get on it at uh, Fisherman's Wharf, and then they would take it up maybe about five blocks until they were tired of um, uh, <laughs> being on the cable car. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They wouldn't take it all the way to Market Street. So if you caught uh-huh. it a little way up, you could get on the cable car. But prior to that, yeah, you couldn't. And those were the days when you could, if you were on a cable car, stand on the outside of the cable car and just hang on to uh-huh. it. Because it went so slow that if you fell off it, you weren't going to hurt yourself. Yeah, yeah sure. But, uh, uh, and I loved doing that when I was a kid. It was like standing on the, uh-huh. on, but you can't do that anymore. They won't let you. Oh, yeah, it's a tourist thing. I remember once I got a car, I hated the cable car. <laughs> I'd be stuck behind them or whatever. Yeah. And I remember, I think from 82 to 84, they were working on them, and they shut them down. There were no cable cars in San Francisco. Well, the, and those were two of the happiest years of my life. Those were There were two uh, cable car lines. There was the uh-huh. one that went uh, from, like, uh, Lombard Street or something. Not Lombard Street. What was uh-huh. that? It's a street where Van Ness, from down about a block from Van Ness, and then all the way up the hill and then down the hill. And then there was another one that went in the opposite direction from Fisherman's uh-huh. Wharf to uh, Market yeah. Street. Yeah. And, and then there was a third one, but it was taken out of, out of uh, service back in, I think, the 30s. Uh, but I actually 38. have a I actually have a film of that subway. Wow! And, and riding on that subway, yeah, they were they were strange little subways uh, and subways cable cars. Excuse me, uh-huh. I've been living in New York too long. Uh, the cable, there you go. <laughs> the cable cars in those days were a two piece deal. The front uh, was kind of the locomotive, as it were, and then the mm-hmm. back was the place where people sat. And they could be detached from each other. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But those were the original cable cars. But, ah, see, way before way before my time. I remember the ones that just used to slow me down when I was behind them in my car. But eventually they just became the symbol of rice aroni the San Francisco tree. Exactly. Yeah, it's just like it's for the tourists. It's like it's like a stagecoach. They're kinda useless. It's just like a, it's like a trademark. So they keep them around. I think they got rid of the mimes, though, with Fisherman's Wharf. I think they all died off, which is a good thing, because the last few times I was there, I saw nobody in white face pretending to get out of an invisible box. Yeah. Actually, uh, you know, I mean, when I was growing up in San Francisco on Telegraph Hill, I I just found it wonderful, you know, just found Uh it wonderful. Um, And and, uh, uh, my school was right across the street, Garfield School. Uh And um, I, uh, I... you know, it was it was uh, it was a great little sure. oh, it was a great place to grow up. It was a wonderful place when I moved there and in the eighties and everything. I love living there. And and then all of a sudden, what happened was the Chinese moved in. Uh, Why those dirty? Yeah, they took over the they kind of took over the neighborhood. They started buying everything up. Yeah, there you go. And they started buying subdivide, subdivide. all the apartment houses. And then uh-huh. what they wanted to put in the apartment houses were their relatives. They didn't want you in there. <laughs> so, true. you know, every month we get a knock on the door. You're going to move? You're going to no, move? No, you, you, yeah. you got five days. Use this battleship great paint. Use this paint. Very cheerful. Cheerful. Yeah. Battleship great. Yeah. So anyway, so what we did is we eventually, because of that, we kind of forced to move out. And my, my grandparents died. And left us a home in Mill Valley, so we moved to Mill Valley uh-huh. temporarily. And oh, my father go. said, "This is this is bullshit. I don't want to be in Mill Valley." Uh, uh-huh. And so we moved to San Anselmo. We got he got a home in San Anselmo, and that's where I grew oh, up in my teenage years. So, aha, uh-huh. you know. But I you do wop years in San uh, San Anselmo. But I remember on Telegraph Hill, uh, lying in my bedroom, and I would look out the window, and out the window was Coit Tower. Wow. Just right there, looming, I mean, huge, huge, right? Yeah, sure. And and I would uh, I would talk to Coit Tower. I would. Uh, have, ah. Yeah, I had a relationship with Coit Tower. I, I was obsessed by Coit Tower. I now know why, uh-huh. but uh, since reading Freud, 
But, you know. <laughs> well, if they didn't tell you to do anything bad, kill Pete Best, kill Pete Best. Yes, Coy Tower, I will do your bidding. Thank God the Transamerica building isn't talking to you. Well, they never, you know, they never knew what uh, 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 Coy Tower was supposed to be because it was just there. It's just, if you see it, folks, it's just, just this tower that's on top of Telegraph Hill. It's a beautiful yep. edifice. But it was built by Lily Hitchcock Coit. And mm-hmm. her big thing was she used to like to dress up as a guy. And go, <laughs> dress up as a guy and go down and pass yourself off as a fireman. Yeah, she had a thing for firemen. I know that. She had a thing for firemen. And um, she, um, and, and by the way, firemen must get a lot of pussy, you know, because I knew women who were just, every time they would see a fireman, they would, like, get wet, <laughs> okay? Yep. But anyway. Well, I think, they, I knew, they're the bravest of the brave. Yeah, God I, bless them. I went with one woman who every now and then I had to leave her off at this, uh, this uh, uh, fire station. And she was literally fucking her way through the fire station. Ah. <laughs> Firemen, firefighters deserve all the pussy. Yeah. They deserve all of it yeah. for and what they do. For what they do. Uh, yeah. For what we do, we deserve none of it. They I, deserve all of it. I don't know if their wives would agree, but, you know. <laughs> That's what they do when they went into their business. They got nothing to do with it. Yeah. So anyway, so um, um, uh she built this, uh, so she built this tower, Coit Tower, as a testament, as a tribute to the firemen of San Francisco. Uh-huh. And it's, she says it's supposed to represent a fire hose nozzle. Yes, I've heard that. It does kind of resemble one, but I don't yes. know if that's the case. It looks like a giant penis, if you want my opinion. <laughs> you know. Not even Jewish. Yeah. But anyway, they said nobody's ever done a movie about Lily Hitchcock Coit. She really was. Quite uh-huh. an interesting character, you know. Uh, I smell a vehicle from Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> I don't know. I think Lily Hitchcock Coit was better looking than Melissa McCarthy. Well, she, I don't yeah. know. I don't know if anyone was good looking back then. All the pictures I see, everyone looks like they have bowel problems. <laughs> They're pissed uh, off and scowling. Uh, well, That's because the flight took 20 minutes to take a picture. Let me see here. Lily Hitchcock Oh, here we go. Lily Hitchcock Coit. Uh, and, uh, yeah, she, uh, she wasn't a bad-looking woman. She was kind of a... Uh-huh. The pictures they have of her are matronly, but the pictures uh-huh. on the page of her have her, for instance, in a fireman's hat yeah. as an example. And uh, she was uh, she was very hot for the firemen. She was kind of oh. a little on the goofy looking side, I guess. Uh-huh. You know. Uh, um, well, she was after men of a respectable vocation, which is good. It's better than going after, like, you know, an axe murderer or a cannibal or something. Yeah, yeah. This She's is, like fireman. She's a fireman groovy. Does it say anything here about her? Uh, Didn't have your rock stars back then. Coit was fascinated by firefighters from a young age, 15, uh, in uh, 1858. She reportedly uh, witnessed well. the Knickerbocker Engine Company uh, 5 respond to a fire on call at Telegraph Hill, and when they were shorthanded, helped them get up the hill ahead of uh, other competing engine companies. Sources uh-huh. differ when this happened, and blah, 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 blah. She was thereafter treated uh. as a mas- mascot of the firefighters, and after her return from Europe in October of 1863, she made an honorary member of the engine company. She's very there you go. along with the firefighters, and whatever, blah, 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 blah. And the coit right. left one-third of her estate to San Francisco to be expended in an appropriate manner for the purpose of adding to the beauty of the city, which I always loved. The city used this bequest to build Coit Tower on Telegraph Hill, so she didn't really build it herself. Uh-huh. How about that? But who knows? You know, I like the myth. Uh-huh. You know, the myth is nice. Yeah. Do you miss San Francisco? Well, they said, it, well, uh, they said in the man who shot Liberty Valance, when the legend outweighs the truth, print the legend. Exactly. Uh, so do you miss San Francisco? I have a scenery, but not really. I'm, like, I'm working here, and I see a lot. I have a lot of friends here, and I have friends who don't live here. I see them pass through town, so I'm busy when I want to be, and I stay at home and do nothing when I don't want to do nothing. By the way, so, in case people... No, I'm not really. Not, I don't miss the rents, and you know, the scenery is nice, but uh, I can live without it for right now. People don't know, but uh, Steve lives in Las Vegas, you know. 
you say we're in Sin City, baby, Las Vegas by the sea. Come join me. Is it? Is it? I guess it's a good place for an older comic to go. A lot of a lot of guys with gray hair, men and women with older people working on the stage here. So yeah, I think it's where old, older comics go to finish their careers and die. It's like Miami Beach for Jews. Is so you know, happen to be both. So like, I, I can go either place, but I like Las Vegas. Vegas. So. No, a lot. There, there's a lot of rooms here. I have I haven't even discovered like one twentieth of them yet, and you know, there's just a lot of good, nice, funny people here working, so and I'm starting to be one of them. So I like it here very much. It's, it's, it's The city is growing. Any other San Francisco t- really can't grow anymore unless any, you're a multimillionaire. Any other town, if you're an older comic, okay. Um, oh, you're finished. <laughs> you're finished. You're finished. Yeah, yeah. The clubs won't hire you over, what, 35, something like that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't think the comedy store is looking at anyone over 40, maybe very few exceptions, but, you know, it's it's, it's over, man. So, but that's, so you come out here. that's not happening in Vegas. In other words, in Vegas, there is no age uh, prejudice. Not really. You just do a good job, and uh, you know they'll use it. That's what I'm, that's what I, what I can see anyway. You know, a lot of comics my age, which is great. I'm not hanging out with a bunch of twenty two year olds going. You know, what was it like knowing this guy? That guy? Oh, not that we ever heard of him, but uh, yeah, I like it here. Yeah, it, it's it's it's. Sometimes the mouse has to go where the cheese is. The, the big round uh, wheel of cheese moves, you know. For a yeah. while it was San Francisco, then it went to L.A., then it rolled to, to Vegas. So here I am in Vegas. And and my question is, how does somebody get into comedy today? Uh, I would strongly discourage it. <laughs> it's so fucking different now. And, you know, try doing it on the Internet and stay at home. You know, go in front of your shower curtain, hold a hairbrush in your hand and start telling jokes and film it. Maybe it'll go viral. I don't know. Just, you know. I'm old school. I just started going to open mics at clubs, Catch Rising Star, the Improv, wherever, any place I've had me. Yeah. And uh, I, I quickly went nowhere, but had a bunch of fun doing it. So <laughs> I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't just do it. I just say, like, I, I give advice 40 years ago, just do it anywhere you can, everywhere you can, as often as you can, and maybe you'll get good at it. Yeah. And maybe you'll make a few dollars at it. You never know. Yeah, yeah. But it, it, I guess the... I, I guess maybe the place that a lot of people get their get their make their bones is just doing stuff online. Yeah, you know. Yeah, a lot of people going viral, but there's so-called comedians who have never performed in front of an audience before because they're doing this shit online. So but, I don't get that. Well, maybe they don't have to. You know? Yeah. Well, so maybe, that's good if you can perform. If you can do your act at home and not go anywhere. <laughs> I mean, nothing the, wrong with that. My compliments, Don Corleone. The venue may have changed, is what I'm saying. Yeah, you know. Um, yeah, uh, and, and the venue may have changed. So, yeah, that's the problem. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, you know, playing any place that will have me. I'm doing a gig tonight for my friend Penny Wiggins, and I've been got up New Mexico on the weekend, and then this and that, you know, this, this and that. Isn't it paying awful, the bills, having fun? Isn't it awfully hot down there? Yeah, but I'm in where the air conditioning is on all the time, and the bill isn't that much. So, you know, I, <laughs> I, I'm outside when I walk to my car, and then from the walk from my car to where because I have to go. I remember, but I'm usually inside this time of year. I remember once this time of year being in Vegas and having to walk from one hotel to another, which was a couple of blocks away. And by the time I got to the other hotel, I was practically dead. Oh, you're drenched. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I sweat a lot anyway. So. I have pores the size of half dollars. But if you know, so, if you know uh, Vegas, it's, yeah, it's hot here. It's, it's going to get worse. But if you know Vegas, I, I can you deal can with it. I dealt with it last year. I'll deal with it this year. If you know get Vegas well enough, you can you can I think go underground, can't you? To go from one hotel to another. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, there's like no sidewalks really, so uh, you know bridges and walls and bridges or whatever they have. Yeah. To get from yeah. one place to the other, you got to walk still, so, but uh, yeah. And then you say you, you can get there. You went down to New Mexico to work. <laughs> Are you going? There? No, we're. I'm going there on Friday. We're going on Friday. We got a show on Saturday. We're coming back on Sunday. Well, tell me how. And I'm hot, not doing the driving. That's the best part. So. How hot's that going to be? Uh, I think 473 degrees. I don't know. It's going to be hot. You but know, we'll just keep I, the AC on. I hear about we're these. We're short sleeves, kids. I hear about these people in the Mid East who live in countries. And what's the temperature today? 130. 140 degrees. And I'm going. What are you, a pussy? And, and you can't take it? How can you take 130 degrees? Now, it's a dry heat. Bullshit. Yeah, it's a dry heat. Yeah. It's you burn, but you don't fry. I mean, 130 degrees. And we sent soldiers over there with army gear on. Okay? Uh huh. 
You know, we didn't send them over there with Bermuda shorts and tank tops. Oh no, I <laughs> know they didn't have reflectors and sunscreen, man. Yeah. Holy crap! I mean, that's I have a, I have a, I have a nephew who's an Iraqi veteran did like 500 tours of the place in, in Afghanistan, and I know when it's a hot day and I wear them. Don't be complain about the heat because you'll get the lecture. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just uh, just incredible. I, you know, like I don't like heat. Uh, yeah. You know. I don't like too much. No, nobody likes too much heat. Nobody likes too much cold. I like it in the middle. Right now, I like it cool, and the air conditioner is doing a fine job. The yeah. Vegas air conditioners are among the finest in the world. Probably they rival those on the equator. Yep, yep, they certainly do. <laughs> or but, so I have read. But you know, I mean, this is uh, it, we're it, we're having a hot spell here in New York. It's been uh, oh going, yeah, it's July in New York, man. Go, but it's go, been going it's on for weeks. I mean, usually. We find that, like last year, I think we didn't get to like August before we really turned on the air conditioner. Uh -huh. And this year, the yep. air conditioning started going on in June, and it hasn't we haven't turned it off. Uh huh. Wait till we see Crazy. the bill, you know. Well, wait till August. Oh, August in New York, and the sounds are so inviting. I'm having a stroke. You know what? The perfect. If anybody wants to know what the heat feels like in New York City on a hot day. Just listen to the beginning of a Love and Spoonful's Summer in the City. That, yeah. dun, dun, <laughs> that takes you there, doesn't it? Dun, dun. I always yeah. felt that musically that said more than anything I ever heard about New York City. Oh, you can, you can the feel summer. the heat on that song. It's done so well. Yeah. Beep, beep, da, 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 da. give me a dollar, fuck you. Da, 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 da. Beep, beep. Hot down, summer in the city. Back summer in the city. Neck, back in my neck, getting their head off. Yeah, I can feel the humidity, man. Oh. And I hate August you. in New York. I hate humidity. I mean, you know. Oh, humidity blows, man. We had a day the other day that was like in the 80s, but there was no humidity, and it was wonderful. Yeah. You know. Oh, it's it was, crisp. It's nice. Yeah, it was crisp and nice. But yeah. uh, today, forget it. We're getting the humidity yeah. again. You know, I go for a couple hours without the air conditioning on, and then it starts getting... Toasty and oh yeah, it's so moist. humid and hot. The tongues in the window of the deli are yelling, "Water, water!" It's hot, <laughs> folks. <laughs> it's so hot. The street signs are sweating. Hello, I saw a cow giving evaporated milk. It's hot, folks. I saw two trees fighting over a dog. Is this thing on? Think of yourself, though. Think of yourself uh, as mm -hmm. somebody who has really, oh, do. who's really. <laughs> Who's really been around? I mean, you've been, you've lived in the New York area, okay, sure. uh, and so you know New York. Then you lived in yeah. San Francisco. What a great experience mm -hmm. that had to be! Now you're in Vegas, mm -hmm. you know, which is uh, yep. Uh, what can I say about Vegas? Uh, it's Vegas, man. It's it's what it is. <laughs> it is what it is, and it, it constantly it is what it is. Well, it constantly goes through an evolution too. I mean, there were mm -hmm. years where it was the gambling mecca, and then they decided they wanted families. Oh, yeah, it's a family come. thing now. So. So, so, <laughs> so, so Dad and Mom could take the kids, pack them up, come to Las Vegas. The kids could sit in the room watching uh, cartoons on television while their father was downstairs uh, spending their uh, tuition. Yeah, uh, they go to the college fund. They go to the grandma's yeah, crack fund. Yeah. But they, 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 at one point, were trying to just appeal to families. Now, I don't know if they're trying to do that now, you know. Well, I don't, I don't know. It's usually, you know, with the casinos, it's liquor and gambling, liquor and gambling. As for me, I woke up at 3 in the morning, and I did my laundry, and I went to the gym. So that's, that's what I do, and, if, and I went to the dispensary. So you gotta be that's what I do with my odd hours here. 3 in the morning? Yep. I woke up at 3. I couldn't get to sleep. I keep odd hours sometimes. So I said, fuck it. I went to the gym. I worked out. I did laundry. There's a little free laundry room, one of many here on the estate. And uh, I got shit done. Don't <laughs> so most comics was, work at uh, 3 in the morning? Oh, yeah. They got late shows. But, uh, oh, man. If I'm up past 11, I'm wasted for the whole next day. So you have to <laughs> it's do It's not the... like it used to be where I could do a four-day binge and then go on and do something. So, holy crap. So what do you do? Do you do the... Um, uh... Well... Tonight's show is at 10.30, which means I'll get home probably at midnight, which means I probably won't get to sleep till 3 or 4, which is usually when I'm waking up, which means I probably won't sleep at all. So, <laughs> Well, when I called you today, you didn't, like, you didn't answer the phone because you had the ringer off. 
which leads I, me. Yeah, usually have the, I don't know why I was off. It's usually on something. Some wires got crossed. I don't know what the hell happened. Well, I I assume that maybe you were sleeping then. But you no, were. I was wide awake waiting for you to call. I was in the kitchen waiting for the coffee to boil, and uh, I think Alex is going to call. And I looked. Oh shit, he called already. And then I looked. Ah, oh, the ringer's off. Yeah, the so, ringer's uh, off. So I called it right back. I yeah. screwed up a thousand pardons, which is nine hundred ninety nine more than Nixon got. Yeah. So it sounds like you're having an exciting time. You know, it's a nutty thing. I'm digging it, man. I'm digging it. How's your uh, How's your lady digging it? She's in California. I she I, she can't live here, so we don't know what's going on with that. Oh. Every time she's come here, she's ended up in the emergency ward because she can't breathe the air here. Her asthma is totally fucked up. Wow. So uh, so horrible. I don't know what's going on. I I'm here. I got the furniture. I got the cats. I got the place. Yeah. I don't know what's going on yet. So uh, we'll. we'll we, we shall see on the next episode of Alex and Steven. And which will be in a couple of weeks. Thank you very much, Mr. Pearl. Thank you, Mr. B. It's always a pleasure talking to you. And we'll do it again in a couple of weeks if the good Lord's will and the creek don't rise. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Well, thank you very much, Stephen Pearl. Very nice having you uh, with us. You know what I didn't do? I'm supposed to uh, uh, do bubbles tomorrow, and I didn't. Uh, I didn't send him an email. See, I, but I can. I'm going to do this right here now. Wait, hold on a second. Where's my email? Uh, here. Where's the email? Son of a bitch. Come here, email. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Okay, there's the email. Let me see here. I go. Uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, Larry Bubbles Brown, Larry, Larry Brown, there we go, and then I go uh, 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 Thursday, uh, Thursday, see this is how we do this, uh, and uh, uh, 10 p. 10 a.m., mm-hmm, 10 a.m., PDT, there we go, and uh, he knows it now, okay, so I, there are things I forget to do, okay, so I didn't forget to do. So where are we? Okay, let me let me open up the lines. I was supposed to get a uh, implant today or implant post, but then the dentist said, "Well, we first should get some uh, X-rays." So did the X-rays, and he said, "Now you need to have your teeth clean. Come back in on Friday, and we'll get your teeth cleaned, and then it'll be ready to go." But wait a minute, there's a cavity down there, so that needs to be filled. So that will uh, cost you uh, X number. Of Anyway, I've got to get, there are three things I've got to get done before they can put the, the implant in. Yeah. Oh, boy. If it isn't one thing, it's another. I don't know why I'm getting an implant. I ain't going to live that long, you know. If I were young, I could say, oh, you know, I've had this implant for 20 years now, and it's working great. Although I wonder what's going to happen after 20 years to a lot of these implants. Who knows? The lines are open, folks, and I'm waiting for people to call. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me see here. Let me get that up there. So I'm just ready to go if anybody wants to call. Um, uh, let me see here. Uh, no, I don't want to start talking about anything. Now, I've got to get this thing fixed, though, this uh, tooth thing. Oh, hear that? That's the uh, familiar ring of Scott Boddicker. Uh, and... Um, let me see. He's also, uh, let's see here, Charlie Wallace. We go to Charlie Wallace. I believe Charlie was in on one of these yesterday, wasn't he? Which which one was he at? Uh, are, you, are you there, Charlie? Uh, Charlie, you there? Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. He automatically. I think I'm here. Yeah, you see, he automatically comes in uh, because he was there yesterday. Okay, so. Anyway, and now if, if, if Jeff could call right now, I wouldn't have to do another one either because it's the same one as yesterday. Hello, Scott. Hey, Alex. Uh, have you ever noticed that Charlie has the most unique T-shirts you've ever seen? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned it. Oh, well. It, it, he's, it, he's always got some. The one yesterday I could not figure out for the life of me. Mm -hmm. It was just a bunch of, like, one oh. N L L. It was crazy. I don't know, but anyway. Let me see here. That was the Stephen Hawking statement. Yeah, I like your teacher show. So anyway, oh, there's uh, there's Phil. We got Phil. So, you know. Oh, geez. Yeah. So all hey. of you, none of you can get a word in edgewise now. 
What? <laughs> I, might well, I might as well just sit back and drink now. Well, that's what you do anyway. <laughs> well, that's, you know, let Scott talk and I'll drink. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're still in a hotel room in... Uh, Denver. Oh, Denver. 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 Did you go to any... Uh, did you pick me up some pot while you were there? No, I haven't gone outside of the complex. It's... Uh, it's it's supposed to be a hundred degrees out there, but it's freezing in all the conference rooms. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, let me see here. Let me see here. There's there's there there he is. There's uh there's uh, um, uh our our good friend. Stein. Huh? Yeah. There he is. Jeff Stein. There's Jeff Stein. Yeah. So uh, in fact, uh, Jeff and I and his lovely wife are all going to get together later this month, aren't we? Here we are. Here we are. Oh, yeah. but I want to tell you guys. And I got the coolest T-shirt of anybody. <laughs> oh, that is good. Hell yeah, that's a spine. Wow. For the bicycle. Where did you get yeah. that? My daughter works at, uh, at uh, the medical school in oh. Massachusetts. I was almost going to buy something. Okay. Uh, I was almost going to buy something uh, today. Um, because I was, I went to the dentist and I passed by. I was passing. I come out of the subway at Radio City Music Hall, and there was a store, and they actually had a Radio City Music Hall T-shirt that they were selling in the store. And I kind of thought, you know, I don't want to feel like a tourist, but that would really be cool to have Radio City Music Hall on my, uh, you know. I, uh, what does it say? I could have been a rockette. No, it just says Radio City Music Hall. It has the 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 logo for the Radio yeah. City Music Hall. So. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, you know. Excuse me if I'm tired tonight because last night I, I I got up early this morning and then I started worrying about stuff, which I don't want to talk about. But I started worrying about stuff, and uh, I couldn't go back to sleep. So I got like five hours sleep. I had a rough night too. Really? Uh, I'm Why not used to sleeping around? in the hotel. You're not used to sleeping in a hotel? No. And uh, let's see. I probably went to sleep at around eleven. This yeah. time, you know, the, the, this couple hours earlier than you. Yeah. And uh, I got up at 2.30 and couldn't go back to sleep. Yeah. Wow. wow. And uh, you know, breakfast was at 6. We had a meeting. And, uh, you know, I just, I just now, couldn't this get is back a, to this sleep. this is a uh, rug uh, installers meeting? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Convention? Yeah we, uh, yeah, we all talk about, uh, you know, if the fuzzy stuff is on top. You know, uh, shag, and uh, you know maybe shag is going to come back. And, you know what? Uh, I I inherited a rug once, or I got a rug once. Um, who was the uh, Who was the uh, the madam here in New York? The uh, I'm trying to remember her name now. I know the one in L.A. was Heidi Fleiss, but no, Heidi no, Floss? no, 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 the one here in New York years ago. I'm trying to remember her uh, name now. I remember the one in Sausalito, but I don't remember any in New York. Well, Sally Sanford, I knew her. Yeah, I yeah. knew her. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, to the end, uh, she ran a bar called the Valhalla, a restaurant called right. the Valhalla. And yeah. uh, up to the end, man, she was stuffing all the money and all the receipts in her bra. She <laughs> was the mayor of Sausalito. She was the mayor of Sausalito for a short time, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I'm trying to think. Who is this woman? I'm trying to remember her name now. But she was very well known because they busted her whorehouse. And she <laughs> got a lot of publicity out of it. And then, he, then she moved to Wahalan. Because that's yeah. where she was from. I'm trying to remember what her name Isn't was. Isn't prostitution legal in Holland? Uh, I I don't know. Yeah. I, I in don't Amsterdam, know. I know yeah. it is. They have a red. They have a red district. I, I, yes, I never asked. Uh, hmm. Let's see here. What, 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 what was the name? Uh, Manhattan, madam. Manhattan. I think there were a couple of Manhattan madams. So that's the problem. Anna Christina. No, uh, the Manhattan madam. Uh, let's Davis? see here. Let's see here. Uh, 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 as soon as I hear her name, I'll know it. Now, yeah, there's, no, Davis, no, 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 there's another one. There's one earlier, though. God bless it. Uh, I can't remember. There's, there was a, there was a, um, uh, let's see here. What year? Uh, it was Kristen M. Davis was the one woman, but uh, that's not the one I'm, Trying to remember, trying to remember the one who was uh, from Holland, and uh, she ran a uh, she ran a brothel here in New York, and um, 
Um, why was I even bringing her up? Uh, <laughs> I yeah. forgot completely. What were we talking about? Uh, now I don't remember. Anyway, uh, we were talking about. Oh, rugs. oh, oh, her, oh, oh. So <laughs> she had she had a rug in this whorehouse. Yeah. So we got the, we got the rug, and we put it down in our offices at midnight blue. Oh, and, and did we you said, check it for uh, blacklight? Well, no, we didn't do that. No, <laughs> no, no. But I, we were very proud of that. You know, the whole the whole office was done in this uh, carpet from this whorehouse. <laughs> what is her name? It's just it's like you know it's there. You know it's right back around in here somewhere. You know, and you just can't you can't dredge it up. Yeah. Well, I never frequented the place, so I I don't know. Well, we don't know that you didn't frequent the place, Phil. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't <laughs> frequent the place. Well, huh? Otherwise, I would have remembered the name. Well, have you ever been to a whorehouse? Yes. Okay. So. Ooh. Yeah, tell us about in, it. Well, my cousin, I was uh, 18. Somebody and always he, uh, somebody always drags you to one, by the way. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we went to one in Miami. Yeah, you went screaming, right? You went pro protesting all the way, right? No, no, no. Oh. It was, but I didn't have any money. My cousin had a lot of money. And uh, this was a body painting place. So, you know. I didn't, you know, I, it was five bucks to paint the body, but I didn't have the 25 bucks uh, to do uh, an, anything else. So I painted the body. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't get laid. Oh, you didn't get laid, but you painted the body. I see. Right. Well, that's what we paid for. Yeah. Um, um, <laughs> um, you know, I mean, I, 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 I went, let's see here, a couple, I went to the, um, I had nothing to do. And I was, uh, oh, I know what, what was it? What was it exactly? I think it was my, it was my friend P, uh, uh, who was the head of uh, Play Incorporated, Paul Montgomery, and Paul, for one, he used to like to take me to these, uh, these, uh, uh, you know, these uh, uh, stripping clubs. What's it? What are they called? You know, uh, strip clubs. Oh, strip clubs. Well, you know, where they pole dancers. You know, yeah, and then yeah. they would come down, and for twenty bucks, they would like sit on your lap, lap and, lap and, and yeah. or, or or blow in your ear or whatever, right? Yeah, a but lap you couldn't touch them. Dance. But you couldn't touch them. No, you can't wouldn't. touch them. And I often, I, I I didn't like doing it, but because I liked Paul, it was I kind of felt I was bonding with him because he did enjoy this. In fact, I used to take him to the Moonlight Bunny Ranch. What happened to uh, we lost? Uh, 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 he's oh, there, back. He's there back he is. There he is. I used to take him to the Moonlight Bunny Ranch, and he would love to just go in, spend some time with one of the women at the Moonlight Bunny Ranch. When he'd come out, I'd say, what'd you do? He said, we talked. Mm -hmm. He would pay them to talk. You know, and, and I found out later on from a lot of the women that worked there that wasn't that uncommon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, talk to my little Willie. <laughs> yeah, 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 talk to my little Willie, exactly. Uh, but uh, uh, anyway, um, I, was it he that I was with, and he wanted to go to the Mustang Ranch? That's a long drive. Well, no, we were well, there anyway. We were in Nevada. Uh, we, uh, we would always take trips up to either Reno or Lake Tahoe, because he had like a Ferrari. And, mm -hmm. and then we would get in the Ferrari, and we, we'd do a midnight run to Tahoe or a midnight run to Reno. The only problem with that was Ferraris are the most uncomfortable fucking I was car. just going to mention yeah. that. Yeah. Wait a minute. What was the, uh, yeah, uh, it was a Ferrari. What, so, what's I thought other? she had a Lamborghini. Oh, no. This was a Lamborghini he got Those later. are even more uncomfortable. Oh, that was so uncomfortable that to do 200 miles on a Lamborghini is like, I think that's, you know, where I got my it's first torture. hemorrhoid from, yeah. right? So anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, he decided he wanted to go to the Moonlight, he wanted to go to the... Um, the Mustang Ranch, because, you know, everybody, I, so I, I heard, you know, of course everybody's heard about it. So anyway, he goes in, and I've got nothing to do. Now, at the Moonlight Bunny Ranch, I could always talk to, you know, my friend uh, who owned the place, or I could talk to some of the women, you know, and we would just sit and talk and whatever, um, while he was doing what he was doing. But I had nothing to do at the Mustang Ranch. I wasn't going to sit there and drink their beer and eat their beef jerky. You know, that just wasn't. 
So I figure, what the hell? You know, I've got, I've got, I, I, I should figure this out because the idea of going to a prostitute never appealed to me, because I like conquest. I, I like to seduce, and I like to be able to have some woman uh -huh. want me. You know, not because I'm handing her fifty bucks and saying blow me. You know, uh, so I never found that sexy. But I figured, you know, maybe I should just do it <clears> once and see if I enjoy it. At and so I went and I, I did it, and I found it. I just didn't find it particularly enjoyable at all, you know. So that was my, first, my basic trip to a horror house out of hanging out at the Moonlight Bunny Ranch all the time. You know? Now, your friend at the Moonlight Bunny Ranch did win his election yeah. posthumously. Po yeah. Posthumously? Well, yeah. Yeah. Posthumous, where, where did you posthumously? Yeah, you, you know, I've heard you say words before, but that is about the uh, worst rendition okay. of a word that I've heard you come up posthumously? Close enough. You know what I was talking about. You mean about. posthumously? You know what you meant. Posthumously. And, and now I can't say it because you <laughs> fucked me up. Posthumously. Yeah, nu nuclear. It's nuclear. Posthumously. Did you go to high school in Brooklyn? <laughs> no. I, I, I went in, uh, in Westchester, uh, oh. Lakeland High School. Uh, you know the guy that calls from Yorktown? Uh, it's, it, yeah. it's right next to that. And uh, AOC was from Yorktown. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So she grew up in a uh, very white area. And she seems more educated than you. Probably <laughs> is. <clears throat> well, that's what they, they teach well over in those foreign countries she comes from. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> she should go back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, she said, somebody said, he, he wants me to go back to where I came from. I said, does that mean I have to go to the Bronx? You know. <laughs> well, uh, Yorktown. Hey, when you asked me, if anybody asked me if I, I, I should go back, I said, yeah, Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, it, it, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's the way things are. Um, anyway, so I'm very tired tonight, so you guys are just going to have to do all the talking. Uh, because I, 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 got a, I hate it when I get up and I'm worried about something, you know, yeah. which right now is every day. So, so why didn't they uh, uh, put the tooth in? They wanted an X-ray. Does this well, no, guy have no, X-rays? First, he said we should take an X-ray to see how your what your mouth is about. Okay, and I agreed to that. And he took they took the X-rays. Uh, X-rays. Now I'm like you, uh, the X-rays. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so we took the uh, we took the. Uh, oh, there we go. Patrick Blazik has just <laughs> <laughs> excuse me called in. Hold on a second. Let me give him a little slot here. Uh, let me see here. There we go, Darth Pat. Okay, there we go. Uh, and he's there. Okay, okay. Hi, Patrick. Hi. What, now, what were you at? Who was asking what? See, that's how out of it I am. What? Uh, you were talking about the dentist and the x-ray. Oh, yeah. So, and then he said, uh, he said, oh, well, let's see. Here. Oh, yes, you have a cavity there that needs to be worked on because it's getting close to a nerve, but I think it can be saved. I said, okay, fine, you know, just have at it. And he says, so let's do the clean. Let's do that. Let's do a cleaning. Then let's do the filling on another day. Uh, so I'm seeing them like uh, to, uh, Friday, Monday. And like, I think Wednesday, I think, is the day I'm having the tooth worked on, uh, that tooth worked on. And he said, then we'll see about the, uh, you know, then we'll get to the uh, implant. He said, but I don't want to work in a mouth that's got a lot of, you know, tartar and things like that in it. He said, that wouldn't be good. Didn't you just get a cleaning? Huh? I thought you just got a cleaning no. you, you'd mentioned on the air. No. No, I haven't no. had a no, cleaning I quite a while. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because I okay, let me see here. I gotta, I gotta put Alan here on. Uh, let's see here. He would be. That's Yonkers. That is Yonkers. Yeah, yeah. Yonkers yeah. He heard you. Let's see here. He heard you. Ah, there's Alan Kroger. Okay. Did you live near AOC? Yes, I did. Yeah. Really? Yeah, not too far. A mile and a half away. Did she go to high school in y in y uh, in uh, Yorktown? Apparently, yes. Apparently, she did. I mean, I'm much older than she is. I'm 64. Yeah. You know, she's whatever. 27, <laughs> 9. Something like that. Nine, she's, nine. She's, yeah. she's, a hot, she's a hot 29. Yep. You got to admit. I can't wait for her to get to be 35. You got to admit, you know. 
we have OAC, uh, and you've got that blonde bimbo in the White House. What's her name? Uh, oh, Kelly uh, Conway? Kellyanne Conway, yeah. I, now, if you had to fuck one of them, which one would you want to fuck? <laughs> Either. I don't know. You know, I, I'm older, and you know, oh, oh, that, who's who's twenty something. Look, just doesn't I'm talking like anymore. I'm talking like we're twenty again, okay? And oh, I'm asking you, oh, who yeah. would you fuck, <laughs> Kellyanne Conway or OAC? Uh, OAC. Oh, of course. You know, Kellyanne was on a TV show the other day. She must be getting her hair done. Her eye, you know, she used to have one eye that was smaller than the other. Yeah. And they were both <laughs> symmetrical uh, on this TV show. So uh, she was looking okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. You know, she had a very expensive I, haircut. I, 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 have the, I have the funny feeling with yeah. Kelly and Conway the, how do I, that she smells bad. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Dude, Patrick, you ever get that feeling about certain people when you see them? Like, I always thought that Cher smelled bad. I don't know why. <laughs> was Cher Italian? Cher's Italian. Probably does smell bad. Was she Probably. Italian or was she, was she part Probably of Probably had the... hair under the office, think... you know? Most likely. <laughs> what, Patrick? You, you know, now that Phil mentioned about the eye uh, with Kellyanne, mm -hmm. maybe she smells so bad that it we were the reaction to herself. Opened up the eye. When one does yeah. the other Yeah. Bigger, yeah. yeah. My stink. Well, you know, as a photographer, when you do portraits, every almost everybody has one eye that's smaller than the other. So what you want to do is you want to place the eye that's smaller closer to the camera so it looks bigger. And, uh, and it looks more even and it makes people look better. So I'm always very conscious of which eye... Uh, is the smaller eye. Mm -hmm. By the way, I'm, if I'm doing this, it's because today my eyes are, are uh, bothering me. Um, the allergies are back. They went away for a day or so. Al is frozen, I think. Is Al frozen? Uh-oh, yeah, he is. Al, Al, are you there? Well, we lost him. He'll call back. When he calls yeah. back, he'll start moving again. Well, yeah. Phil, what about the brown eye? What do you mean? The, the brown eye? Back. Stink eye? The bad what? eye. Eye sizes, and what about the brown eye? You know, where do you put that yeah. in? <laughs> the brown eye. Well, I don't, I don't photograph porn. <laughs> I, I, I bet it, her brown eye smells bad. Oh! <laughs> She's, you got to get your nose in it, Alex. <laughs> yeah. Trump's been there. You know something? I have to say this, you know, uh, and Albert and I went to a Republican convention when it was here in New York. Uh, when we were working at Sirius XM. And um, we both had to agree that the Republican women look pretty fucking goddamn hot, you know? Yeah. And, and you kind of had this feeling. It was kind of like when I would look at these women, I would feel exceptionally guilty, just like I probably would have during World War II if all of a sudden I was getting a boner over a German... Uh, female soldier, you know. Hey, uh, what what's on your feed? What's, your feed? What do you mean, what's on my feed? Uh, on the YouTube feed. The show. Oh, oh. okay. Because uh, I must have touched something. Because as you were talking, Ronnie Bennett came up. Oh, that's the uh, uh, that's the other uh, the oh, other. That's the other. Okay. It's either last night's show or it's the or, other or the standalone or Ronnie night. interview. Okay. I don't know how it uh, how it ended up there. Well, I have no idea either. But we don't yeah. give a shit. What is this? Is the seventeenth? Okay, now I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Al's lying in bed. I am. Yeah. It's late. <laughs> yeah, you. I have to work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, this hey, is the only work I have. Does you know. somebody have their audio on? No. Feedback too. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know where that's coming from, but it, 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 if you had a, re, a real echo going on, it would be going on because somebody was listening and they were, it was like 30 seconds ago. Yeah. yeah. Nah, no. Yeah. So. All right. 
the phone only can do one thing at a time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, so, uh, you know, and that's about the only time that I ever, uh, I ever actually went to a whorehouse that wasn't owned by a friend. Okay. That's the best way I can put it. What the hell is with that slapback tonight? That's ridiculous. It's I think it's Al K. Do you think something was yeah. Al? No, yeah, turn, turn the feed down and turn it back up and see what happens. I did. Oh. I did. Well, I don't hear it now. Compression on. Got compression on. You had compression on? You do. I do? No, I don't. No? Okay. No. There, there is a natural compression that goes with Skype that they, they do so people do not... It, 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 it's a thing it's called, called mix minus. It's called mix minus, and it's built into Skype. Okay. And, and Phil and keeps telling problem. me I should do mix minus. I should do mix minus. If I did mix minus, I'd be doubling mix minus because Skype That's is right. already mix minusing. There yeah. you go. So. All right. It's okay you, to double it. Are you, uh, no, it's not okay to double it. Yes, Patrick. But if you're doubling mix minusing. Aren't you? Wouldn't it be mix plusing? You probably mix plus if you did double mix minusing. Yeah. 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 Mix plus. Yeah. Well, I can mix minus with this with this board, but the problem right. would be is that nobody else would be able to hear anybody else if I did uh, it that way. No, because they come in on two channels. It it I don't it fuck it. it I, this word his works fine. <laughs> okay. No, nobody understands what mix minus really. I mean, is. let's face it. It's amazing that at my age, I was able to pull off what I pulled off with all these people being on the screen at the same time. It, it is amazing, Alex. It's, it's. I couldn't do this. I could not do what you're doing yeah. right now. I could not do it. Yeah. And well, he's an engineer. Well, I mean, I just said uh, once you get the thing set up, it's no great problem, you know. But it was yeah, the it, it was the new way of having to handle the new Skype, which wouldn't allow me yeah. to literally capture the whole thing like we did before. Sure. Plus, even if I captured what we have here, it looks so shitty now with all the little bubbles and shit like that, you know. I like well, the, the, the Skype, but your uh, your little invention that looks great on uh, YouTube. My little invention? Yeah, the way you got the squares. Well, the it rectangles. isn't my invention. You know, it's I'm using technology to do it. But uh, yeah, but yeah, you set it up. It's pretty good, you know. And it, uh, it everybody has a clear picture, and you know, it's not like the old days. The old days it was really shitty, you know. So, yeah. So, anyway, uh, but uh, uh, so anyway, so I was going to say Republican women were really hot. And I felt I felt very guilty about it. And yeah, look at Fox. Huh? Fox News. You yeah, know, Fox, Fox News. Yeah. Fox News. Yeah. Will you ever watch that show they have at noon called uh, Fox. What the? Uh, what's it called? Outnumbered. Outnumbered, in Outnumbered. which is it's like six women and one guy. Ooh, yeah. Lucky <laughs> <laughs> you know, and the one guy's usually always Alan Dershowitz, you know, uh, and and um, uh, it's these women talking about politics and all trying to keep their jobs, <laughs> you know, uh, it, and it's harder to keep it now because now you have to be able to really do right wing politics on that show before all you had to do was blow Roger Ailes. <laughs> so the whole game has changed, you know. What were you going to say, Scott? What did you say, Scott? I said that was disgusting, blowing Ellen or Roger Ailes. Yeah. Talk, talking about blowjobs, uh, who is Kevin Spacey? They dropped all the yep, they uh, dropped all the charges yeah. against him. Yeah. So does that mean that he's going to be back on uh, whatever that TV show was? No. Uh, no. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, supposedly there's some other town cities that are looking into charges against him. One is in Hollywood and the other is in, in England, London. Uh, he was with the, what was it, the Royal Shakespeare Theater? Or who, what was he with? He was with I don't know. And uh, he, uh, uh, so it, there are still some other charges pending. Nobody's charged him, but they're pending. Now, yeah. my question is, are they going to give him work back? Is he going to be allowed to get his work back if none of these charges stick and nothing is, you know, it, it, then is he just not allowed to work in the business because of assertions? 
It is looks that, that way. right? What yeah, will you say, Al? Well, you're... No, I'm, I'm saying this is, seems to be a general trend. Is an assertion, and everybody's screwed. Whoever gets to something asserted. It's, I, mean, I can understand why people say, like, oh, not me too, as a nice little hashtag. Yeah, I mean, well, like, I, I hate to say this, but me too always reminded me in a lot of ways of the McCarthy era, in to, which it, all it took was an accusation to make sure you never worked again, mm -hmm. you know? And nobody, right. nobody was vetting these accusations. Oh, but mm -hmm. we can't vet them because women are never believed, so we have to allow them this time to be believed no matter what they say. There was one other thing. If you apologized too soon, uh -huh. then they ripped you apart. Oh. But if you yeah, say, I'll tell you, Louis C.K.'s biggest problem was he apologized. Right. Mm -hmm. and, you know, saying, yeah, yeah, I did that and I apologize. What he should have done, it, my feeling is that what we've learned, if we've learned nothing else from this whole thing never admit it never yeah, you, know, you learn that from trump it's like it's like lenny bruce once said uh, if your wife finds that you've been cheating on her deny it no matter what she says deny it deny it deny it because if you ever right. say honey i did it i'm sorry that's it <laughs> you yes. know? so deny it and and and, and, and i think that was a kind of a bad message to send across to people you know oh here comes tony god i'm gonna have to make up a, more room here let me see here let me see we're gonna go to number seven and there's where we'll put tony oh, hold on a second let me see tony quisp i don't know what that means but it's a quiz here alex i got the fire department in my house before a man who blow, man who cover blew up, and now they're checking for carbon monoxide. I only got a 16 level up here. They had open, they maybe open up all the windows. Really? The house, yeah, the house down the block, a 200 carbon monoxide. Just heard the fireman. I just said it's not dangerous, but just open so, the windows up. Tony, are you are you cooking again? No, <laughs> the man. They, 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 I get, I'll show you in the front of the house with the thing. So you turn, turn your. Well, hold video. on, ma. The firemen are outside. Will you go to bed? <laughs> Oh, on, this, this is a comedy act over Magnus's <laughs> house. This is like, uh, yeah, in case people have never heard this program before, Tony Magno is taking care of his oh, mother. She's, she's a nervous wreck. I think he's her dying he's, now. He's, he, he, he's, and look at the wallpaper. Look at the <laughs> fucking wallpaper. And look at the chintz <laughs> curtains. Yeah. The, uh, no, no wonder, I can, I no wonder Tony Skype, is. If Tony can. ever like takes out the entire neighborhood, we can forgive him for that wallpaper because that made him do it. <laughs> and if you can't, <laughs> are you telling your mother to shut up? Is that what you're doing? You, you know why? Is she, my nephew carried the Gilio at the feast, so he parked the car in the yard. It's everything all right? Ma, if everything was wrong, you wouldn't be sleeping in the bedroom. Now she's all worried. I didn't want the fireman to say anything, but I had him watch him around the house because he had his little meter out. Yeah, I it's just, el elder abuse. Yeah, I'm sorry, Alex. I don't like that. I felt like you probably going after your mom. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, they're going to be out here all night. The house down the block has got a 200 level upstairs, so they can't sleep in there. They can't. So no crazy. shit. So what blew up? What blew up? Anything? Somehow with the fire, that Alex, that thunderstorm, the manhole cover was smoking. It must have backed up into the houses. I don't know how well, the fuck Wait a minute. Did, did lightning fire. hit the manhole I cover? I think it did, or it short circuited somehow or another. It doesn't make any sense. Because we just had lightning, a lightning storm here that was pretty severe. Yeah. You had it probably where you are, right, uh, uh, right, uh, Alan? Yeah, it was a, about an hour ago. An hour ago. Yeah. <clears throat> you know something? Hey, can you remember a, 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 a summer in past years that's been as continually hot as this one? Oh, it's bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, okay. but how far back do you have to go? Because the last couple of they years, got a song. usually, usually, usually you get city. some 70 <laughs> degree days and then you get some 80 degree days. We have I not know. turned the air conditioner off in a month. I know. <laughs> I got a two hundred dollar bill. You know, really? in, in the when I was growing up in New York, they, they used to uh, turn on the fire hydrants because it was so mm -hmm. hot, and the kids would run through it. 
you know, New York is hot and, and it's muggy. No, but and it's, it's hot. Bugs. It's hot. Oh, it's I didn't turn that. Oh, I didn't yeah. turn the light on. Oh, oh did you think? I didn't do oh, it. Hey, fine. I have an <laughs> idea. It's, it's cold now. Bring a fireman in it. Tony, we don't see a fireman. Wait a minute, is Al lying there topless now? <laughs> oh my God! Turn <laughs> it on. God, it's this show is here. getting disgusting. <laughs> well, you start to talk about porno and what a uh, clown show! Houses. What a fucking clown show we got going here. <laughs> my, my wife loves fire girl. Loves Hey Tony, <laughs> crazy. Alan here. is lying naked in bed. I'm playing Nintendo on my camera. Are you naked? Are you are you naked, Al? No, no. I have my shirt off. It's comfortable that way. Yeah, you have your shirt off. Okay, right. Yeah, That's yeah, hot. Right. That's hot. Um, yeah, prove it to you, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I'm naked from the waist down. You're yeah, naked I. from the waist down. I thought uh, tonight. I thought I would just sit here in my underpants, but I went. And, I went and put some put some shorts on so people can see. It. It's my style. What can I tell you? <laughs> yeah. I can't sleep. I got to get to be in front of the house all night. I like to do the job, though. Thank God. Go sleep outside in the backyard. If I'm dead tomorrow, it's from carbon monoxide. I'll tell you and that. Mike <laughs> Allen says, Annie Grisna? Gris, Grisna? No. No, 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 no. What was her name? Her name was Hollander. Hollander. That's the name oh. I remember. Uh, uh, Xavier, Xavier Hollander. Xavier Hollander. Yep. Uh, Xavier. Yeah. I had yeah. I had her rug. Yeah. Yeah. You still do a column in Penthouse. What? Yeah. Yes, she, of course, for years. I I think I did, is she still alive. The Happy wonder? Hooker, she called. The it. Happy Hooker. That was happy it. And they, even, they 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 had a book and they made a movie out of it. You know. She was hot. No, she wasn't. Oh, I like. I knew Xavier. She was a nice lady. She was very smart. Very bright. Uh, who who was the gal in San Francisco in the seventies that uh, uh, was uh, in, uh, involved in that Now movement and so forth? Or she was a Gloria. I believe she uh, Gloria Steinman. Was she a yeah. Steinman? Uh, she was a prostitute. Wasn't no, she wasn't. She was a Playboy. No, she was a call never, girl. Never. No, she was never. a Playboy bunny. She, she was a Playboy. Oh, is that what it was? She worked as a Playboy bunny in order to write an article. What? Yes, you're right. She yes. But worked for Playboy Bunny, then she turned into this. But leave it, leave it to Phil yeah. to libel me. Uh, li yes. You know, <laughs> libel this still program. Alive? Yes, the Gloria she's still Steinem? Alive. Yeah, she's still alive. She's like almost 80. I think she just turned 80. There goes Tony. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which I, I think of that. I said, she just turned 80, and I'm thinking, boy, is she old. And then I went, whoops. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she used to live in Laurel Heights. I used to see her driving around there. Yeah, but uh, no, I knew. Here's how I knew Gloria. <laughs> I was going out with a woman here in New York by the name of. Oh, I can I can say it. I don't think she'd be feel bad if I said that I was seeing her. Her name was uh, Marianne Madden, and she did a thing called the Competition in New York Magazine at the back of New York Magazine. And uh, uh, I got to know Mary Ann pretty well. I used to go see her every morning after I got off my show at 6 o'clock at the WPLJ. And uh, I, every morning when I would go up the stairs, Gloria Steinem lived right below her. And every morning when I would go up the stairs, because I guess the times were the same or whatever, uh, Coming yeah. out of her apartment was James Brown. No, not the singer, the oh, football sure. player, Jim Brown. Uh, and uh, uh, every morning, it was kind of like the two of us. It was like the two guys. Remember that cartoon with the, uh, uh, with the, uh, with the, with the, with the, she uh, the sheep and the wolf, and the uh, good morning, Bob. Good morning, Sam. I mean, it was that kind of thing. Every day we say hello two to each other. Two ships passing in the night. Yeah, two ships passing. What is that noise? What is, that? what is that noise? Dan, is that your yeah. Dan? I'm not making any noise. No, you you have your uh, thing set to where uh, the automatic levels. Yeah. Sound. I don't know. It's really loud. Yeah. yeah, you got to turn that down. I'll get off here and fix it and come back. 
Well, all you have to do is just go in there and it's under settings and... I think he's on his phone. I'm on my phone. I'm not real familiar with well, it. It's okay now. It's okay now. Yeah. It was just... Yeah, uh, that's, that's what happens. Uh, it builds up all the ambient noise uh, when you first get on unless you uncheck that box. Well, well, I'll look it up next time. Yeah, well, he's on his phone. They may not even have that kind of setting on the phone. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know shit about this. <laughs> and and neither do I. Hold on a second, folks. There he is. Okay, there we go. There's uh, Pat. There's Dan. Hello, Dan. Am I get uh, in the Carol Brady spot? You're in what? The Carol Brady oh, spot? Brady oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, oh, wait a minute. That's, I'm, that's the wrong, uh, that's the wrong the, thing. I got to no, say. It looks like the Brady Bunch, and I want the Carol Brady spot. Hold on. Uh, then, then you'd have to push Patrick out. Why, why is this not? Uh, no, let me Patrick's see here. Eight. in the Alice spot. Eight. Oh, eight. Oh, oh. oh, wait a minute. Eight. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Demand. I got to move Dan to eight. Lazy. I got to move Dan to eight. And there's somebody that I'm. Oh, I see here. Okay. Let me put Dan in eight. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Ah, oh, boy. This is this, this is getting this is getting unwieldy. Uh, let me see here. There we go. And now up there, I need to put in the six spot. You can see, folks. Uh, I need. You don't know what I'm oh, talking about because I. Huh? Yeah, hey, where's Tony? Tony? No, there he is. No, oh, what? he's there. What, but yeah. Tony's down there. What I need to put uh, Al back in here. His picture uh, in here. Oh. Uh, uh, let me see, sure. uh, Al Kroger, there we go, okay, now we got Al Kroger, okay, now I can transition it, there we go. <sighs> Beer cold miracles. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry if I interrupted the show by coming on. No, you didn't interrupt Just it. temporarily. Uh, and then everybody who is here has interrupted us at Did one point or another. Did you want to see the new footage that they dug up of Trump and Epstein palling around back in 92 or something? Yeah, I'm not going to hold that against Trump. You know? Well, it's just... You know, he said, I'm not a fan. I barely knew him, you know. Well, no, no, no. no right? He admitted that he, he knew him because he he, he hung out in Florida, you know. Mar-a-Lago. And Mar-a-Lago and so on, and he knew him. But that they had a falling yeah. out, and I think the falling out was over the fact that he got busted, and he didn't want to, you know. Be, uh, no, be, he threw him out of the uh, Mar-a-Lago years ago because mm. uh, b uh, b before he got busted, because uh, he claims that he inappropriately touched some of the wait staff. Oh, I bet that mattered. Since yeah. when did Trump ever care about women being inappropriately touched? <laughs> yeah, he has to be the one. Being I mean, he did. He did give an unqualified t testimonial to him, though, as a blog at one time, or not a, maybe as a blog, right. but just well, as a I mean, statement that he that he. Uh, you know, he's a pretty good guy, and uh, he likes women like I do, and some of them are on the younger side. Younger side, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> That's the rest you know, I, I, you probably don't want to talk too much Trump, but uh, uh -huh. I guess there was an impeachment uh, vote today, uh -huh. and uh, it was like three-something to 90. Or, uh, it, it was uh, very uh, lopsided against impeachment. Yeah, why was that, Phil? Uh, because I think that they wanted to put it to a committee or something. No, 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 no. Nancy Pelosi asked her fellow Democrats to vote against it. Right. Okay, yeah. so that's why but, it didn't But there was fly. something else that it didn't go to a committee. It, it, uh, it probably should have gone to a committee. Usually those yeah. things go to a committee, but that didn't go to a committee. Look, I understand, yeah. I understand Pelosi's feeling about not wanting to impeach Trump. Because that makes that makes him a, a, a or at least puts victim. him, it, it, it gives him victim status, and mm -hmm. and she, I don't think she feels from a political standpoint that's what the Democratic Party needs right mm -hmm. now, you know, and that even if we started impeachment proceedings against him, uh, hell, it would take into his next term if he gets reelected to you know he'd be out he'd, he'd either be out of office or into his second term before. Uh, they can't uh, ever get anything I think really he going has on. I don't know what support from people that don't want him impeached. Uh, well, yeah, let's not something. take anybody to trial. 
Yeah. Well, Dan, Dan was he broke the law. We're not going to try him for it. Let's not try anybody. Bank robbers. Well, set them well, free. Look, I understand where you, you're coming you from, don't. Charlie. I, uh, you're, you're, you're coming. You're coming from a very logical standpoint, and a standpoint I totally agree with. People shouldn't be allowed to get away with what he's been allowed right. to get away with. I, However, I totally. How, I, I mean, I totally understand that. I mean, I, I'm kind of torn on on it myself. But I, like but I, I understand. The, I understand it, the political underpinnings on this. Yeah. You know. And and what? But then again, it's also at what point? The only at what point have we completely thrown all morality out the window, and just like it's all strategic, and we only care about the moral right thing to do if it's advantageous to us. And well, okay. What, what what's what's more important at this? Arrived. What what are you saying, Al? I said we have arrived. Yeah, we, yeah, but I mean. What is we, we had Clinton. What is more important to win the election mm. or to impeach Trump? And I don't think you can do both. Mm. Why not? <laughs> because I think it makes him it makes him it, it, it makes him a pitiful character, is what it does. It's tough. It makes him it's a victim. It's a tough call. I know it's a tough call. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I'm not able to figure it out yet. You know, we what, impeached Nixon and we won the election. And no, Nixon. Nixon no. wasn't impeached. Well, he Nick, resigned. Nixon resigned yeah, because he started he, impeachment uh, procedure, and yeah. it was in a and different. We still yeah. the next election. Uh, uh, like Jeff's, got, right. Jeff's, got his hand, Jeff's got Clinton his hand. Jeff's got his hand up. Jeff. I think, I think we all have to remember that if we impeach the president, the mm -hmm. Senate then has to make their own decision, Fair which. Care. It's never going to happen. Well, what right. it, what yeah, it is? We, we let, 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 me, let me just put it. On the let me. Let me. Saying it's okay for Trump to break all these laws, let me, and then we run against minute, them and put wait, them out. Let me. Wait a minute. Let me put he's, this. He's hold answered. on a second. Hey, everybody. Everybody. Let me talk for a second. The, the, for let, people let who don't understand, they think that impeachment is like throwing the president out of office, and it isn't. Impeachment is simply an indictment of the president for a crime, because he can't be tried in the courts. Okay. So then the trial itself, if you remember with Clinton, the trial itself takes place in the Senate. Yes. And if this thing then goes to the Senate for a trial and we have the current Senate we've got now, there's no way he's going to be convicted. Now, okay. on the 24th, Mueller is testifying in front of Congress, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, the Congress is going to have their chance to ask him uh, these questions about obstruction and so forth. Whether mm -hmm. he's just going to say what's in the report or if he's going to answer the questions directly, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, at that point, either they have something to convict, you know, to, to try him on, or they don't. I think because what they want. I think what they want to do with Mueller is ask him, "What did you mean in the report when you said thus and thus?" Right. You exactly. Know. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, and and, it, and get a clear explanation of that because. <laughs> A lot of people believe Mueller was sending out some kind of code there saying, well, here's where you can get them, you know? Yeah, uh, just like they do in Area 51. Yep. What? Yeah. Uh, you know, how, how, why, how, you know, you can, boy, it, you can drive this show off into a ditch. No, you know, well, you know <laughs> they, they're looking for codes, secret codes, and, you know, uh, you know hidden conspiracies. Yeah, yes, uh, Al. No, I'm just doing secret head shakes. Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> For Phil. Oh, boy. Okay. Naked guy yeah. in bed. And... Oh, yes, Mr. Beard. Yes. Yes, uh, Jeff. The one, the one thing that I've been thinking about, and I, I'm not 100% uh, correct on the legal end, hmm. but I think if Trump does certain illegal things, and we wait until he's no longer president. We mm -hmm. can then take him to court. Yes, we can. Yes, we Just can. The but, but, of but they statute of limitations. limitations. And, and, and they never do that. Well, there's a statute they, of limitations, Charlie, but the statute of limitations is not, uh, you know, um, that short that we can't charge him once he gets out of seven it. years. If he gets reelected, he it, it depends on the crime. Run out. I, isn't it seven years? Depends on the crime. Depends uh, on the crime. And well, the crime basically will run like out. That. I mean, let's, let's find that when he was, let's find out if, the, like, when he was in prison, 
Okay, I mean, in prison. When he was in the, in the White House, it's a kind of form of prison. Uh, when he was in the White House, um, by the way, uh, there's a lot of noise coming from there. Uh, uh, Ray Renati. Ray. Let me see here. Let me find Ray. You know, I really should put my glasses on. That would be a very good thing if I did that. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, you got, I think you got to expand the screen, too. What? Uh, you need another. I, I know. I'm I'm working right. on it, Phil. Working Just on. let me that let means me first. We got a full house. Yeah, I I realize that, Phil. Yeah. But wait a minute. Hold well, on a second. My job. Hey, Darth Pat, <laughs> Alan Kroger, Charles Wallace. Oh, there we go. Goomba. There we go. Yeah, all you people with your silly little little names. Okay. Now there <laughs> we go, folks. Oh, it's not a royal flush though. I better turn that. No, off. it's just a full house. Full uh, house. No, it's a full house. So I gotta. I got it. What's the royal I, flush? I, I, I missed eleven. Uh, royal well, flush I've, is eleven. Yeah, a full like house. This one is, goes up to eleven. Like there, there we go. Here we go. It's a full and house. A there jack, we go. And a jackpot is thirteen. Yeah. I mean, uh, oops. Flush. Wait a minute. I got two of of Ray Renati. I don't want two of. Ray oh, that's Ray. the age. Okay, that's the like royal flush. Uh, there we go. And Epstein likes his girls. Huh? Wait a minute. Hold um, on a second. What, what? Still said thirteen. That's what no, you, it's tw that's twelve. Twelve. Oh, I see. Okay, nine. Eight. Ah, there we go. Oh, well, that's uh, either one of Trump or one of Epstein. I don't know. They AJ like their girls. Twelve or thirteen. Okay, hold on a second. I'm I'm having to I'm, I'm having to do some stuff here. Hold on. Just everybody, leave me alone. Okay, hold on. Let me. There we go. I think. Dad, didn't you have a van at one time? Huh? I don't have the van anymore. Jeffrey Epstein took the van. Uh, there we go. You know, looking for kids, here's some candy. Wait a minute. Blue why? Wait a minute. Why is he up yeah. at number eight? Number eight. Who's in the eighth place? Was, who, did I, uh, who, who did we have in there? We had. Oh, we had Dan. I got to put Dan back in there. Yeah, uh, Mr. Dan. There we go, Mr. Dan. Okay. Patrick. There goes Mr. Dan. There we go. Now we got everybody. Else. Hey, I gotta ask Dan. Are you still doing the surveys on the phone? No, I'm not. Thank God that's I'm done with that now. I'm uh, I do teaching? DoorDash. I'm DoorDash. Doing... Yeah. Wow. Oh. Oh, you, you do what? <laughs> DoorDash. What is DoorDash? Oh, you do deliveries for food. Oh, food delivery. That's oh, really? Oh, okay. It's like yeah, it's like Uber for food. Yeah. I've never heard of DoorDash. I have. Oh. Well, yeah. get on the website and order some food. Uh, yeah, and I'll drive up to New York and bring it to you. <laughs> <laughs> you what, what, what kind of automatic tip do you get for New York? Yeah. Well, that's, that's the thing. There's been a lot of problems. And, and DoorDash is a company. It's kind of one of these startups. It's, you know, it's not entirely on the up and up. I'm using my own car, my own gas and everything. And uh, DoorDash applies the tip to the guarantee, so I always like it best when the customers tip in cash, you see. Yeah. And DoorDash can't get their grubby hands on it. <laughs> Boy, you really have some scuzzy jobs, Dan. <laughs> I thought he was a teacher for a while. No, I'm a teacher as well. During the school year, I'm a substitute teacher, and now I'm doing DoorDash. And this is the perfect second job because I can do it full-time over the summer. And then do the school teacher during the year. Oh, that's yeah, good. Okay. Ray, All right. I'm not a full time uh, teacher, so I don't get a. No, wait, when you're a substitute teacher, do you work a lot, though? You must be. Yeah. Yeah, I get about uh, four days a week, I'd say. Oh, okay. I get five if I wanted, but. All right. Now, uh, Ray, who uh, you, you haven't teacher. seen yet, he's the one in the exercise thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, he also drives Uber because he meets people and he gets he interviews them, basically. And uh, he, he likes doing it. And so oh, and uh, Lyft. And oh, Lyft. And Lyft. And Lyft. I know yeah, Lyft, uh, most, Lyft Uber, most of these people, like in New York, uh, they have uh, everybody that ever picks me up for Juno also has Lyft and also has Uber, but said that they really don't like Uber. Because yeah. uh, uh, Juno only takes 15%. Uber takes what, 35%, Ray? Yeah, 50. Uber sometimes takes up to 30, 32%. Lyft is usually down around 20 or 21. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I also drive for a company called um, Hop Skip Drive, which is like Uber for kids, and they pay the best well, by yeah. far. But you have to get an Drive FBI background around? check. You have to get yeah. an FBI background check? Yeah. Why yeah. is that? How, how close are you to having a book oh, of Jeff the Epstein people that you, part of that, yeah. that you talk to? How, how, how what? On a book? I thought you were working yes, on I a am. book. Yes, I am. I'm working, I'm working on it. I'm going to do a, like a musical or a one-man show. I'm, I'm right. I'm, I have a video camera and I have all kinds of material. Hey, so, ever, yeah. ever tell you about the time? I haven't started. I just, I'm yeah. collecting. Did I ever tell you about the time I did a one-man show? No. Uh, well, actually, yeah, it wasn't it's meant to be. It, w- it wasn't meant to be. It just nobody showed up. <laughs> <laughs> That's no audience. <laughs> I have to cut out my sister's here. I got the fireman coming up again to check the monoxide. So I have to reapportion all these squares? I know. Yeah, she's you out of your fucking mind? Mommy might have caught the you go. It's no longer going to be a full house here any longer. I'm sorry, Alex. I got the fireman coming up. Well, I'm, I'm, getting rid of, I'm getting rid of it's you right now. Your sister wants to see the fireman. Oh. Yeah, she no, wants to check. Why did you call me? Take his, take somebody to replace Tony. Tony. I got them coming up there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, get, I'm, getting, I'm getting rid of Tony right now and replacing <laughs> him right with Ray. Oh, I'm re- replacing him with Ray. There we go. Okay, and uh, let me see here. Um, I think we're okay oh, now. There we go. There we go. Back to the uh, back. We don't have a full house anymore. No. Nah. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, eight. <laughs> Yes, you, yes, you do. No, that's not a full. Oh, yeah. Four, eight, ten. Yeah. No. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at the. There YouTube, are nine. Uh, there are nine. Oh, yeah. Tony. Yeah, yeah Tony. Yeah, yeah, we just nine. got rid of Tony. Yeah. Ten minus one. Is Tony had to four. go out and smell carbon monoxide. Yeah. 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 My iPad is is sometimes I'm not seeing everybody. Well, we don't care. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Alex, when are you going back home? When when are you back in California? Tomorrow night. Uh, I'll be on a plane for tomorrow's show. So. Oh, okay. Oh, oh gee. Uh, oh, uh, is that, everybody, big sigh of awe. Oh, uh, you know, yeah. hey, last last time, if I could get uh, uh, the uh, internet on the plane, I can call in. There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah try that internet on the plane. It really works well. Well, it worked that afternoon. I called you, and uh, just later in the trip, it didn't work. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, I don't know what kind of throughput they have on the plane, but I'm sure it isn't high bandwidth. No, it's called they, they Dan's call it got his hand up. or something. Huh? What? What were you saying? Hey, uh? Dan's got his hand up. I just, yes, I just, I just was waving my hand because I didn't want to forget. Um, didn't you say that you were gonna? Do a Jim Bohannon show tomorrow? No, I decided not to. Decided oh. Not to. Yeah. Decided oh, wow. not to. Yeah. You should it's call it. <laughs> well, not, I, no, because I'm doing the sh- this show while that show is on. So do that while you're doing this? Yeah, that'd be cool. No, but he didn't want to do a phone <laughs> in. He wanted me to go down to CBS on well, 57. Well, we'll just be real quiet and not say anything. I yeah. promise. But anyway, so you know, I mean, hey, I, 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 you, you know, know where the where the toilets are. At CBS. You know how I feel about it. I, if I went down there, I would be get off at midnight, and then we would go out and we go to like Chinatown and get some food and stuff. And I'm an old guy; I got to go to sleep. <laughs> you know, you're uh, up till two, three in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm up till two or three in the morning, but I'm not active. You know. So. Plus, it, uh, that would mean that would in mean I would have to get out of the house so yeah, yeah. why why is he oh he's punching up the things on on the uh, cycle yes uh, Ray you're muted Ray you're muted Ray Ray he can't hear you. no can't hear you still muted he's still muted he's on the As bike far, well come yeah. on use your acting do be a mime <laughs> what we can't hear uh, you. No, nah, his microphone's dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did he just? I, I, uh, <laughs> oh no! You don't have to go away. Just keep uh, keep uh, pedaling. 
you know. <laughs> it, it, you know Sounds like. Thanks for a good video. <laughs> anyway. Sounds like. Um, but uh, so you know, getting getting back to getting back to the whole impeachment thing. <laughs> Yeah. Oh goodness. He's talking about Trump again. Getting back to the whole impeachment thing, I just you know I you know I understand what you're saying, Charlie, and I I do understand that people shouldn't feel they can get away with this kind of behavior. Yeah. Uh, but right. it, it, there's there's the political consideration, and I think what the Democrats have to do is spend their time making their case. You know. And making a good one and presenting it to the American public, and allow you know the the best thing the Democrats could That's do it. and that would cut off Trump's water would be to ignore him completely. It would drive him crazy. They can't, can't do that. Nobody can do that. Well, but he plays them like a well-tuned violin. Absolutely. That's because they are. We well, didn't ask for your opinion on this, Phil. All right, Phil. Because you don't have to state your opinion every time. We pretty well know what it is, Phil. Yeah. Yeah, but you know the audience has to. Uh, has to oh, 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 yeah, like this the audience, audience knows. knows. Tonight we we've been getting very large audiences for the video lately. It, it seems to be jumping up. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. What are you laughing about, Al? Uh, Ray, I'm watching Ray. Ray. Oh, Ray? Yeah. All the gestures. <laughs> I wish you people were watching this on video. You'd see what we're talking about. Ray is making all kinds of fun little faces and stuff like that, you know. Uh, He's yeah. cracking me up. Yeah. 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 You got a club with other people that are watching what he's doing? You know, well, yeah. some people are just listening. But yeah. we have more. We yeah. have more people who view this now than actually listen to the audio. You know, the audio. Yeah. Pick it up. Pick if it you up. had a second computer or another phone, you could see it on YouTube. And, yeah. Uh, other than the Skype, uh, you could actually see it on YouTube. There is some way I could return the Skype, uh, the, the 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 screen that I've got here to all you people to see. But I oh, I, I yeah. don't know how to do it. I know how to I know how to. And Is that how to act, I know how to activate it, but I don't know how to activate it into Skype, so that you could then what you would be seeing is the exact screen that I that I'm putting out. So I know. That's just one more thing I have to learn. Oh, Ray Renati's calling back. He had a problem, uh, but he's he's back again. Wait a minute. What what's what's the problem with? Um, all of a sudden, we got. Uh, Sorry. What? What? Okay. Oh. oh, we can hear you. Ray, now. Ray, say something. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can yeah. hear you now. Okay. Yeah, I just plugged my mic back in. Something's wrong. It's on a dongle. Oh, that'll do it. Dongle. Yeah. 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 So that's what. Right. I'll we're... turn it off so I'm not noisy. Right. Right. Uh, so, um, um, where were we? Oh, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I understand what you're saying, Charlie. I mean, um, do we let somebody get away with this? Um, th this man has been making a mockery out of the presidency. He doesn't respect the office. Uh, and and it's, it's one thing to be a maverick and to be different uh, and to... Um, <coughs> You know, do uh, all kinds of things, uh, uh, and to say that oh, he's he's different than other people, all right, and it's something else to say he's just disrespecting the office completely, and that's what he's right. doing. It's very mm -hmm. sad. Oh, by the way, now we can see your face, uh, D Dan, because your the light isn't obscuring you. See that way, the light obscures oh, you, but when you're lying down, yeah. we can see your face. Well, I. I'm just trying to get in a comfortable spot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, listen. Look. Look at. Like, look. Oh. Look at Al. He's take your shirt off, just like yeah. Al. Come on. <laughs> you want me to take my shirt off? Let's all take our shirts off. Oh, sure. Why not? Oh. <laughs> Let's just all do the show naked. Yeah. Everybody what do you say? Everybody can see my man boobs. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, we could have a dick measuring contest. How about that? 
I wonder. I, 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 I always used to. I always used to. I, 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 Dan, I always used to win those, but I don't know if I would anymore. I, you know, it's as time goes on, things change. Yeah. Oh my. Well, you know, I mean, I, I, let's be honest about it. I mean, I, I often said to myself, you know, I look in the mirror and go, well, you're not that good looking. You know, uh, and, and yeah. you're kind of goofy looking, in fact, and, you know, you're you're not the, the biggest uh, uh, guy when it comes to wooing people, wooing women. But thank God I got a big dick. That was what I always said. So, you know, I thank God for that. You know. Thank God. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, well, wow. The guy bobbing up and down, in case you're watching the show, is Ray Renati. World famous actor. He has those. He has those actor looks, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. very he interesting. Has. Yeah, you know, Mr. Hollywood. You know, it's funny. What's well, funny though? Wait until you get the parts that I, I heard about. My, Bubbles and uh, and Will are in a movie together that they're making up in, up north in California. I can't remember where. Uh, and uh, it's only like a one-day shoot for Bubbles, but it's a big part for Will. And I said, so what part are you playing? And he said, a character called Gramps. Uh. And I went, how do you feel about that? <laughs> you know, <laughs> that, that you got the part, but guess what? The good news is you got the part. The bad part is you're playing Gramps. <laughs> Uh, Alex is the Milton Burl of radio men. I got to tell you a story. You know the, the you know the story about Milton Burl. Yeah. Uh, you have to fold it, man. That he had, no that, no that wasn't the line at all, Phil. Yeah, well, it's no, no, no. Uh, just Adam, enough to win. Was the line, he right? and I think That's it was Sonny it, yeah. Tufts was the other was the other actor, and they were both arguing about who had the biggest dick, and finally uh, Burl said, "Well, just whip it out, and then I'll t I'll bring out just enough to win." Yeah. <laughs> so I'm interviewing Burl. He comes to the studio, and I'm interviewing Burl. I wish I had the interview here. I, I don't have it. If anybody has it out there, please get it to me, because there are people out there who recorded every show I ever did. And I said to, at one point to Burl in the interview, I said, uh, listen, uh, Milton, I said, uh, uh, I do this morning show, and we're a little ribald and things like that. And I said, if I didn't ask you a certain question, this audience would hold it against me. And he said, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, okay, that's all I wanted to know. <laughs> you know. But supposedly he had the biggest dick in Hollywood. Uh, you know, another another guy that had uh, a Playboy uh, was Perfirio Rubioso. And Perfirio Rubioso. Yeah, we all remember there. Perfirio Rubioso, no, who you can, whose name you can't even pronounce. There's another name you can't pronounce. <laughs> I don't yeah. know who he I'm is. I'm surprised no. you got through the uh, Perfirio. He, he was a Playboy, and uh, he used to sell passports in Spain to Jews. Uh, uh, he, he had something to do with that. And he, uh, he hung around with rich women. And uh, his, the story in Hollywood was that he had a, a large schwantz. You mean dick? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you know, suppose, anyway, uh, wait, a minute, wait a minute, Ray has his hand up. Yes, Ray. Yeah. Well, the, the biggest actually was Dick Smothers. He had the biggest. Really? Do you get it? Dick Smothers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dick Smothers, yeah. Uh, oh. yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a... Play on words. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a French humor. A a anyway, <laughs> um, uh, you know who I heard has the biggest penis in in movies today. Yeah, is uh, Liam Neeson. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's that's what I hear. I hear things. Yeah, yeah. You know, in the immortal words, words of Donald Trump, people say. <laughs> you know. Many many people. Many, many people. I love how he always says, well, some people agree with me. Or many mm. people agree with me. How many, how many is many, you know? Enough to get him elected. Ten? Yeah. <laughs> I like that one. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, somebody, I read an article about, about somebody who's been studying everything, everything that Trump has written and said. And when he says, to, he in, in, it, what? I didn't think he could write. No, no, but he, 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 he you know, tweets and so on. He said that you can tell when Trump is lying when he talks about the other person referring to him as sir. Right, I saw that too. You see that? Yeah. When, is, is that his tell? That's his tell, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So when he did that whole thing about, you know, he came to me and I said, well, how many, how many people would get killed if we dropped the bombs and whatever? He said, well, oh. sir. Well, he said he's probably lying because he no, used the you sir. No, you know, they're military. They all call him sir. He's a commander in chief. Yeah, but you know something? I don't think if I were relating the story, I would add the sir. Okay, I would only it's be Stanley doing that Trump. if I wanted to impress people. Not necessarily. He's just yeah. relating it the way he heard. And don't don't use this excuse for every bullshit thing he does as being well. It's Donald Trump. You know, he's the commander. In oh, chief. oh well. They come on, come sir. on, it, come on. Yes, sir. Don't yes, don't President. hold it against him. Think about it. He's Hitler. Okay, and you Dang. know Hitler does this kind of stuff. You know. He's not Hitler, but he wishes he was. Yeah. You guys are amazing. Listen, I knew Hitler, and he's no Hitler. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Well, yeah, hey, uh, there are some big differences between Hitler and Trump. For instance, Hitler served in the military. Okay? <laughs> so. Yeah, he was a corporal. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, who, well, you know, well, you know... Uh, what the difference between uh, the Ku Klux Klan and Trump supporters are? No. The Klan's headgear is made in America. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, actually, the uh, the real hat that I bought from the Trump <laughs> website is made in America. Well, there are plenty that weren't. I mean, well, there's the phony ones though, so. that that got counterfeited by the Chinese. That were uh, selling oh. over here for a quick buck, oh, but that all stopped when he put the tariff on the. Oh, hat. by the way, uh, the biggest guy, but the <laughs> other guy with the big, the big dick, dick who went up against Milton Berle was Forrest Tucker. He supposedly had a huge yeah. dick as well. Patrick got his hand yes, up. Yes, Patrick. Um, yes. With with the Trump hat, the ugly one that only Trump can wear because it had hair. Those yeah. are in the USA. The ones that look like regular ball caps that fit people, those are the ones made in China. So if you see the ugly, oversized Elmer Fudd ones, those are USA. All the rest of them are China, Malaysia, uh, Singapore. The, the, those, but those other ones aren't available on his website. Those are only available on uh, the no. internet. Uh, you know, this one was made in the USA. No, it's made. It's made in China. China. Yeah, the USA of China. Huh? It's, it's, it's probably Russia. made in Indonesia. Let me see here. Does it, it, does it say China. here at all? Uh, it, it would say People's Republic of China or PRC. Dot R-U. Oh, <laughs> PRC is Oh, here, here it is. Made in China. Oh. It says. Yeah. I bought it in China. It better be made in and, China. And it says it in English? Yeah. Why would it say made in China in English? If because they China? know the only people that are going to buy it are people like me, you know, or tourists. You know. So, yeah. Yeah. A badge of honor. Yeah. What a comfortable looking bunch. Look at look at uh, Al. He's lying down all and and Dan is 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 reclining. And, you know, and, and, Patrick and I are the only two sitting in chairs. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it Ray, Ray is making me tired. <laughs> uh, uh, He's like a metronome. Uh, uh, <laughs> landscape, <laughs> Al, a landscape, please, landscape. Yes, as soon as I get out of, there I go, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I, my, well, my, if, my, if he goes into portrait, we'll see his chest. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Are, are you without interest, in Bill? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the good. fact is, you don't see any more with, you see less with portrait than you do with landscape. Uh, yeah. Well, not if, not if you're 
you know, if he turned to go, the turn, turn the landscape and you won't see anything different except to just his face. There we go. See what I'm oh, saying? Okay, yeah. See what I'm saying? Uh, it's not doing like it does on TV where you got things on the side. Well, they put things on the side because that's the way. That, I, 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 the networks would love it if everybody would shoot landscape, and then when they got the news f footage, it would fill the whole screen. These people think that that's the way you're supposed to hold it. That has never been a ratio. They should put things on a phone to make it comfortable to hold it uh, in the uh, landscape. You know, like yeah. maybe indentations for your finger or something. Oh, they have. I don't know that it's any it's difficult at all. Look at that. I do that. It's tiring. It, it is it's a little tiring. tiring. I can attest because I'm doing it right now. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> My hand is like, oh my god, I'm switching hands. But now. you can get yourself, <laughs> you can get yourself a selfie stick, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh and god, fact, I'm not that vain. In fact, you can go to the Apple Store, and you can get uh, for about 150 bucks, you can get a gimbal for the iPhone. For so five bucks, so it's smooth. I could get a little attachment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what I do is I put it's this bottle store. behind the phone. Yeah. And I lean the phone against the bottle. Really? That, and that way it stays yeah. there as I'm going to change my... Okay, I'm putting oh, my... There we go. There we go. You got it. You got it. You see, but you have that light up above you now. We can't see your... That's Phil's yeah, light. You're so uh, Where are you? I'm in Denver. Oh, okay. I was going to say, you're not in Continental Village. I can come up and... Uh, <laughs> Somebody just wrote I here. Haven't, Matt, I haven't been there in a long Matt time. Matt Crash said, "Whatever Good. happened to Renee?" I, I, is yeah, anybody heard from know? Renee? Yeah. Has anybody uh, heard from her? No. Patrick <laughs> used to. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've tried to see. She's not. I don't think she has a Facebook page anymore. No. Um, and uh, I, you know, it's been since the first of the year that we haven't heard from her. Maybe wow. she fell in the volcano. Yeah, it could be. Let yeah. me see here. Let me go to Facebook, and let me put in Renee Collins. By the way, do you see the picture I have of me on Facebook? Yeah. Yeah, the young picture. Young Alex. <laughs> it's called Face. It's called Face App. Face. Oh, the face app. Oh, that yeah. one. Uh, the Russian oh. thing. Yeah. It, 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 I heard now, that's Russian hacking software. Yeah. Huh? So yeah. now they got your all your information. Do and, I do uh, I do I give a shit? Well, you know, you should say what Larry Bubble says. Uh, yeah, right, right. They, I, they yeah. now they have no life. You know. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, but no, but uh, it, it's really quite convincing, to be very honest with you. It looked it like is. you were 150 years old. It's supposed to have yeah, 50 like years. Yeah, so hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, uh, it, I'd show people the picture, but there's no way I can take it off of here. Uh, uh, but if you, go to, if you go to my Facebook page, you you can see Do it, it. they'll do it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let me, I got to get over there. But the thing is, the app is, is done by the Russians. Yeah. And everybody's complaining that, oh well you know they can steal your photos and so on and so forth and they have told people that they only hold on to the photos for upwards to 48 hours uh, and they have a thing that is in their terms of usage that says well we can use these photos for anything we want anywhere we want at any time we want and everybody's complaining about that saying see the Russians are out to get us that's the same terms of usage that Facebook has Facebook, and that use, yeah. YouTube has. You know, they copied it right over. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, the reason they do that is it's to prevent them from liability. Sure. Sure. You know, if somehow well, the picture winds up... Do you, do you believe the Russians are only going to keep it for a couple of days? Do you really <laughs> believe that? Phil, why do they want a picture of me? Why? Well, they don't necessarily want yeah, for you. People who can't see. Oh, I know how I can show it. I got oh, it. There you go. Oh, there it is. Well, oh, here I can. God. I can even show it better. Wait a minute. Hold, hold on way. a second. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on, folks. Here we go. <laughs> you there's there's, there's my there's my picture, folks. That's the one we're mm -hmm. talking about. I just remembered I can put a screen on here. <clears throat> That was with FaceApp. I thought you just took a picture of yourself today. Really? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you you got to work on your neck a little. Yeah, but that it's a, it's a great I'm little. Sorry, I had to do it. 
It's a fun little program, but then when I asked it to do a young me, uh, it, uh, it it didn't uh, it wasn't able to do it. It it it, huh. it did it, but it was didn't even look like me. Okay. Now, what would happen if Will Durst did this? Would it kind of make him look younger? What do you mean? Well, you know, Will Durst already has a, a an older look with the bag. He has a lot of bags under his eyes. Well, you, who, how about me? Hmm. Well, you're you know you're almost eighty years old. Will Durst is what sixty. I mean, the only thing I didn't have to put in this picture were bags under my eyes because they were they're already <laughs> there. You know. Oh, do you customize it or does it do it for no, you? No, you don't customize it. It just does it for you. I see. So you just you take any picture you have of yourself and then you uh, you do it. And if the Russians want to steal that, go ahead, have a good time. God now bless. on Fox News, they were playing around with this app this morning, yeah. uh, and uh, they said that if you use a professional photo, it doesn't age you as much as if you use one that is uh, just a, a normal snapshot uh i would have to i'd have to check that out i don't know i just well because they were doing it with uh, several of the several of the people on fox and uh playing around with it showing them before and after and uh they said that the you know the professional photos didn't change as much yeah. as uh as ones that were not professionally taken well it's the most popular app on uh on uh on Apple. Everybody's doing it. Well, yeah. it's going to help with the election in 2020. Now that you've got that app secretly on your phone, mm -hmm. uh, that that's going to how they're going to get all the bots uh, to, to hit everybody. <laughs> I see. I yeah, see. you know, think about it. Oh, oh I'll, I'll I'll think about it. Hold on a second. Okay, I thought about it. Anyway, all right. Uh, so I'm right. <laughs> Uh, let me see here. Is there anything else in the news that we haven't, uh, you know, since, since yeah, probably. Trump dominates it every day, you know. Um, he was supposed to give a speech somewhere tonight, and he probably was. Yeah, he did. He And he he doubled down, of course, on the uh, racist comments. He was like, yeah, they should leave. And, and the chant is now, make her leave, make her leave. That's what the, those crazy uh, supporters oh, okay. are saying now. Well, so. I, you know, I don't, oh. you know, I don't like, I've never liked the idea. What is that noise all of a sudden? Uh, Netflix, Netflix subscriber growth stalls. Um, a stumble in effort to annex the world's eyeballs. That's. Wait a minute. Uh, some, well, hold on a second. Somebody's yeah. making noise. Somebody has their audio on. No, it's got an air compressor. Oh. Sorry, my thing went on. I didn't realize it. Uh, okay. uh, 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 oh, uh, here's the headline. Well, wait a minute. Man. Netflix, wait a minute. Netflix uh, has stalled in its subscriptions. What? Yeah. At at, at five billion? I mean, come on. They, you know. Uh, that's just the headline. Uh, man ties up wife's lover, cuts off penis. Deputies say. Right. Oh, cool. Well, how can you believe a deputy? Yeah. Uh, cops. Man stole car. Eighteen cars in twenty-four hours. Oh, wait a minute. I'll get back to the Netflix thing. Oh, yeah. All right, let me go to that. Wait a minute. How many? How many? How, how, if they're stalled, what are they stalled at? Uh, let me get to the thing. Uh, here it is. Yeah. Okay, this is on uh, Yahoo, I think. Yeah. Uh, it's downloading the. Uh, Blue, oh, Bloomberg opinion. Optimistic scenario about Netflix uh, goes like this company is wise to spend like mad to create new generation entertainment. Yada, yada. Uh, Netflix lost paying customers in the U.S. during the second quarter for the first time in years after it increased prices on its most popular plan to $13 a month from $11. Yeah. Uh, the results show that there are limits to how much Netflix can raise people's bills. So y you were right uh, when you were talking about that a couple of months ago about the uh, raise that you got, uh, well, your, your Netflix yeah. bill went up. Alex. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Well, I guess they oh. lost uh, viewers. Yes, Pat, uh, Dan. Subscribers. Also, you got uh, Disney Plus is coming up, I think, by the end of the year. Warner Brothers is going to have their own yep. streaming thing. So they're going to be nickel and well, diamonds, well, well, you know. Well, okay. I mean, we got to be choosy about our First of all, some, dollars. somebody said this about Netflix. That uh, like they're losing friends, they're losing the office to all these other owned yeah. and operated uh, 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 things. 
Uh, and uh, somebody said it's not going to hurt Netflix at all because people there's so much on Netflix. Yeah. The people just say, well, yeah. I won't watch Friends. I'll watch something else. I'll watch Luther. Or I'll watch something <laughs> else. You know. Uh, so it's not like it, 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 it's a done deal, but because they don't have these items, you know, and also they're producing their own material. They're producing and, uh, television shows all around the world, you know. So they've got a lot of material. Yes, uh, yes, Dan. Oh, uh, speaking of that, uh, I just found out that they cleared uh, Kevin Spacey of the charges. Yeah. yeah. So maybe he'll come back and do uh, House of Cards again. No, nobody, to begin with, his, he's been tarnished for life, okay? Even if yeah. they never find him guilty. I mean, Harvey Weinstein has yet to go to trial, and I, quite frankly, I think he, uh, Weinstein's going to skate. I think so, too. Yeah. And what happens when he skates? Does everybody say, okay, you can start making movies again in Hollywood? No. Yeah. No, he, he's done. Yeah, that's right. I would just be kidding around. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean... Uh, he's done. I, you know, I, I do feel sorry for certain people who were in that first wave and got caught up in that first wave, like, uh, what's his name, my comedian friend? Uh, Louis C.K. Louis C.K. Uh, oh. Who... who uh, was, uh, you know, he was in that first wave, and what did he do? He, you know, he asked some women, do you mind if I pull out my penis? And nobody said no, so he pulled it out. Hey, yeah. uh, who was the guy that was at that award show and they had something about the Al Me Frank? Too? Uh, no, it wasn't Al Franken. He was at an award show. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, they accused him, and he just out, out, outwardly just said, I didn't do it. Uh, you know, he didn't apologize. Yeah, yeah, who who was? Oh, you mean it was a comedian? No, it was an actor. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't McConaughey. It was uh, somebody like him. Well, all the mm -hmm. people who later on got accused of stuff did not yeah. suffer the consequences the early ones did. No. If Louis C.K. had been outed, oh, I don't know, a year later, he'd still be have his TV shows and everything mm -hmm. else. It was just he was in that first wave. And um, yeah. this is a guy that deserves to be working. He's Al really Al Franken good. was the real first wave. Al Franken, no, uh, he was kind of a kind of a political <laughs> first wave. Yeah, that was uh, a political. Uh, it was job. that. It was that cunt. What's her name? Gillibrand, who <laughs> who did. Now she's not bad looking. I oh yes, she is. More yeah. my type. Uh, I mean, uh, it, it, that was a case of eating our own. I mean, here was the most liberal, left wing of all the senators. And she just forced him out, you know, yeah. because she wanted to look good. And she I, wanted to run for president. Yeah. How's, yeah. How's, like that go, gonna... how's that going for her? Yeah. Zero percent. Yes, Dan. Yes, uh, Dan. Oh. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, a Kirsten Gillibrand would have a lot going for her, I think. She, you know, she talks well. She has a good presentation, but she's not new, doing nearly as well as she could be. And I think that Al Franken thing really yeah. hurt her. Yeah, she needs. I think she'd off. have a chance. She'd have a serious chance. She she might be up there with Harris and uh, Warren if, if she hadn't done that. The I mean, only what, reason what? Harris climbed what? is that she what? ate ate Biden for lunch. You know, she oh, served. Wow, wow. I thought you meant something sexual. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, uh, I'm just you know, well, tired of the wishy washiness of the Democrats. Let's do something. I want to go. For Trump. I don't want to. The centrist, whammy pamby Bill Clinton stuff. Well, before we go, before yeah. we go, I would like to say that uh, the comment of the night to me that just slipped by everybody was when Phil said the only two of us sitting straight up are Patrick and myself. <laughs> and all I could think of was. Patrick doesn't have a choice, Phil. I know. That's why. I don't have a choice. There's only one chair here. You could slouch if you want to. Patrick doesn't have a choice. I could if I want to. And yet he's there and he does his thing. And every now and then. Patrick, is, Patrick can slouch just as good as the next Some guy. nights he's quiet <laughs> and some nights he can't shut him up. Here, you know? here. No. <laughs> and of course, then there's always uh, Scott Boddicker, who since the beginning of the show has barely said anything. Right, Scott? Yeah, right. There he is. Anyway, there's our theme song, ladies and gentlemen. 
our ever popular theme song. Gee, you know, I just turned on my camera. You can't see my camera yet. I just looked, and I looked like the photo that was redone here. <laughs> oh, Zach. This is as good as it gets, folks. This is what '79 looks like, you know. You need anyway. a little makeup. Well, comrades, I may not be calling tomorrow, so it's a Bye -bye. safe zone for well, you. Well, uh, well, we certainly now. will look forward to that. Anyway, yeah. I want to thank you, Scott, for being here. And I want to thank Charlie for being here. Charlie, you're great. I want to thank Phil. I want to thank Jeff. I want to thank uh, uh, Patrick. I want to thank Al. I want to thank Ray. And I want to thank Dan. See, I got everybody. How about that? Why don't you all wave goodbye, and I'll wave goodbye back to you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. And uh, i got to turn off the phone here because uh, uh, up next is the intersection with Jack Bishop, and he needs to use the same phones. And you should call him, by the way. Why not? Anyway, I'm Alex Bennett. Um, and, um, uh, it, it, you know, um, I'm just stalling a little bit because I actually got off, I started to get off early here. Anyway, let me just say this. We'll be back again tomorrow night. There's no Damien. He's away for about three weeks. So we'll be back again at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay? Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>